So here's a smart toothbrush here with a Kyocera. And uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, uh, my name is Natsuki, Copyright Communication. So welcome to our booth. So this is a special toothbrush with the music going through the bone conducting. So you connect to the phone and the sound is going through bone conduction on the tooth. Whoa. So it's possible to hear through the cup? So like, like this is also possible to hear it because it vibrates. And this is called a posse. So how soon this can come in the market? Uh, we are currently under development, so uh, maybe uh, hopefully two or three years later. Or... Nice. So soon can come? Cool. And we'll go around here. Uh, this is um, some uh, vital sensing wearable device right here. Um, this is a solution that also goes through bone conduction or maybe... Yeah, bone conduction, yes. You have a lot of uh, piezoelectric kind of technologies, right? Uh, yeah, uh, piezo, this car. Piezo, piezo, this uh, no, no piezo. No, no piezo, but different kind of vibrations. Okay, let's go around here. Cool. What are they talking about here? And here we're going around. There's also some chipsets going on here. And um, uh, let's check this out right here. So, so this is the the AI system here. So this is a AI solution that you have. Uh, yeah. So inside the uh, black box, there is an yeah. AI camera, and it can only detect the human. So for automotive applications. Nice. Okay, let's go jump in here. So this is with the, with the camera and, uh, and uh, working. Is it like a new ISIC developed with MediaTek to enable AI? So uh, basically, this is the ARM chipset, and this whole AI stuff can have uh, people recognition happening here. So doing a lot of AI work. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Let's try to jump in there. Uh, let me jump right there. So here we have a micro LED. This is a 1.8 inch micro LED developed by Kyocera um, using this kind of technology here. The way they put it together. And uh, yeah, I put my. It's very bright. So this is very bright. High brightness. Very high brightness. And here we have it also. Nice. So the hopefully it will come bigger and bigger. Uh, like hopefully yes. All right. Cool. <laughs> Uh, let's go around here. So, this is a carbohydrate monitoring system. So, uh, what is happening here? What is this? Uh, so, the sensor uh, measures the pass wave, and the, uh, the, uh, we found the patterns of pass wave is related to the, uh, the level of glucose after the meal. So, uh, we can estimate the uh, glucose level, uh, the carbohydrate metabolism, and then um, uh, to uh, monitor the uh, health state. So this is a health monitoring system, but basically it's monitoring what happens at the at the level of how the body is absorbing nutrients. Uh, 
and um, or not, not all nutrients, but uh, uh, the device uh, monitor uh, how so the how, sweat. Yeah, uh, how glucose, uh, how the carbohydrates, how they are uh, reacting on your skin. Um, What's happening uh, at that level there? Yeah. What's going through the skin? Um, no, not going through skin, but we can, uh, uh, can the gyrus is a major the pattern of first wave. Nice. So this uh, little sensor right here. <laughs> Many different solutions. What is this? Nice. So right here it is display. All right. And this is 3D also. All right. So the Ciatec is a big show for you, many different demos. And, uh, also see me with my bag. I'm in the it can detect everything about me. Cool. So Kyocera always busy, right? Uh, more and more things. <laughs> a lot of technology. Future, uh, more comfortable and more happy, happy life with IoT technology, IoT solutions.